What is up, everybody, and welcome back to Tales of the Borderlands, episode four. What's that episode? It's the first time I've like started on the on the episode menu, which is new. It's a new thing I might try and do it, so you guys know what episode I am playing. But yeah, let's get into it. Let's not waste time. Let's not mess around. So we're definitely not going to be doing that with our, our taco business or taco gun or whatever. Yeah, healing gun idea thing. Are we? Most stories in the Borderlands start bloody. Yes. They end bloody too. And really, the bit in the middle isn't too great either. Every sure. once in a while, things aren't so bad. This is the situation our three doofuses found themselves in. After successfully pitching their uh, opposite of a gun on sink or swim, the genius, yep. the rage monster, and the big dumb idiot had the world on a string. I thought she was well, like, I for the Fran most part. Like, doing like a weird sexy Anu, pose. The competent one she's like intended to like collect a corpse. Up. But thanks to Susan Coldwell's bounty, Anu might find herself being the oh, yeah, corpse she wanted to collect. Don't give me that look. You narrate next time you think you can do so much better. Okay, I will. Thank you for the job. Four hundred. <laughs> Can you hear me? There? Supposed to back an hour ago. No. Coming in sneaky. I'll be back soon. Not oh, to I worry. That's the wrong one. Not to die? You only get false confidence when. Uh, you're breaking up. I'll talk to you soon. I thought I said I'm in a jiffy. And I thought that was my way of being like, I'm in a jiffy, send help. Oh boy. Hundred. One. Four. Hundred. Two. You four. This. You got this. I don't. You got three, this, Anu. Four. Hundred. Four. Okay, maybe not. Four. One, five. Hundred. Here we go, this is it! <laughs> many, many punches later. Four! Thousand nine hundred ninety-nine! I can't wait to reach my healing device. He said you'd be here by now. Those student loans aren't gonna pay themselves. What's the holdup? So sorry, ma'am. My platoon was diverted by civil unrest. ETA five minutes. Oh. Five minutes. Come on. Come on. Sonic. Just the one more punch. Oh, I gotta hold it. Hold him! <laughs> wow, that's impressive. Yeah. Anu, strongest lady in the universe! No, I just yell. Fucking pick up me gun and hit her in the head with it. What if, when they're shooting me, if I just keep sh holding Aunt this out myself, shooting it? Invincible! Because then they would never be able to kill me. Still need a body. Level of deterioration. Oh, severe. look at that booty. Likely usefulness in shard experimentation. Ooh, woo. Low. Damn. I don't care if there's a war going on. I got your girl in a coffin and a, a bank account getting skinnier by the minute and... Level of deterioration, none. Likely usefulness in shard experimentation, high. If she were a corpse. 
A scalpel. Useful for transforming people into corpses. <laughs> the game's just hinting like, kill her! No, 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 no. Please, I, like, find I, I, something else in it's like... A rock! Because the idea is growing on me! Useful for making oh, a corpse shit. or something like that. Nothing personal! Go on. Just die, you psycho! Oh, look at that kick! I do go. You got this. Now this is it. You psycho bandage trash. Right across the throat, the fucking jugular. Take that, you look, you punk rock looking I'm bitch. Not, not that there's anything wrong with punk rock. Psycho! I'm not. I wonder if everyone is see us dead. like their friend. Kino Battalion 26 reporting. Oh no. <laughs> I'm sorry. She's dead. She. I'm she's sorry. Dead. I don't need pleasing I'm anymore. So great. Analysis. The corpse is too heavy to move. Oh no. Come on. Lift with your legs. Analysis. Your entire body would have to be made of legs. Oh. <laughs> Damn! Buzz Recommendation. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I murdered you for no reason. Kind of. I'm sorry. Why don't you be so loud? Jeez. It's waiting for them to be like, see the broken out coffin and be like, it's a zombie or something. Music in this game is really good, I will say. Like, they have a good soundtrack. Fuck go! I have something important to tell you both. Bup, bup, bup. I, I said no peeking. Is it? Voila! Say hello to our new HQ. Do you love it? It's friends, I, I bought it from the city's top realtor. 
Rhonda Fofolia. She's one of the Dirty 30. Her whole reputation is built on being nice and honest. Isn't this Central here, location, yourself? spacious, great schools. And there's something homey and familiar about it. You bought Franz Frogut. <laughs> what? No. Yes. You bought the literal rubble of Franz Frogut, the same location you wanted us to leave. There's no way we could know for sure this is Franz Frogert. There's a big sign that says Franz Frogert. That sign is old news. You're looking at the new headquarters of our company, which I named. Oh boy. An awesome name that I totally remember. This one. And that name is Global Compucor. The obvious choice. Well done. Right? You bought a blown out Froger shop. The same Froger shop we fled. And the only difference is a custom plaque. Not the only difference. This place is full of updates. Come, look around. Oh, no. Spend the money and sink or swim. I guess that's what I did with it. To get, like, to this property. I did that. I didn't actually do it, though. Updates it was just something that such as. Granite what counter? about these 100% granite countertops? It's slabs of blown up granite from TDO's attack that have been left on the counter. She said it was shabby chic. Shabby, 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 chic. Okay, fine. But, but, I haven't even told you the best part yet. I didn't need to take out a loan. I was able to pay it full, in cash, up front. You what? It took some professional negotiation, uh, professional negotiation, but I got her to accept all the money we want from Sink or Swim. Says this building is ours, free and clear. <laughs> you idiotic. <sighs> This already was ours before it was blown apart from an invasion. You bought it for no reason with all our capital? These are some high level biz maneuvers. Business maneuvers. It's above your pay grade. I don't expect you to understand. I get it. You think I agreed to purchase this place right away, but. I'm not an idiot, Anu. I knew friend would want to invest in some security measures, and I knew you'd want some high-tech tools to work with. So, being the amazing negotiator I am, I talked Rhonda into giving us... Into giving us what? Exactly. Super if you're innovation. dragging this out to create suspense, which just feels like anxiety Very to me scientific. more... I'm sure it'll help with your experiments. I haven't seen you make that face since we were kids. You'd always make that face just before you. What would the security system would have been? Ah! Let's not go nuts here. If you were me, you'd do the same. Ah! Oh. Oh, we could soften a bit more. Maybe a little more? No? Yeah, we go. He's like, I'm gonna fucking kill Break you! Break it up, you two! <coughs> ah. I leave you two doofuses alone for one second and you're at each other's throats. You are also in the place where we last saw you. Friend Octavia, have you been duped again? Yes! He spent all of our capital buying- She pulled my ear! Hard! Ba -ba -ba -ba. I don't want to hear it. As far as I'm concerned, I'm back home again, and I love these countertops. They used to be our floor. Even if Octavio spent all of our money on my shop, I have made up for it by hiring our support staff on the cheap. And by cheap, I mean nothing. Come along, Fergus. Fergus? <sighs> oh my god, it's this guy. Does nothing for money, because it's all for free. Oh my god, there's a dance thing. Yes. 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 
Why is the wet free need a filling up? Labor. Free. Labor. Free. Yeah, you labor. Can do it, Louis. Free. Labor. Free. Free. Labor. Oh my god. Strangely arousing. <sighs> I need to go change my pants, guys. I'll be back. Uh, uh, a rather fascinating human. The dancing. The free labor. He lives in a perpetual flow state, coexisting with instinct and agency. He completely bypasses the contradiction of programming. His oscillating hips are fascinating and somehow life affirming. Behold sexiness. You're just beholding the power of pure grade A sexiness. Drink it in, Brobot. Drink it in. When I reflexively murdered that security guard, I found myself in a consciousness paradox. But you have solved it. I shall learn from you. You are my guru. Free labor. <laughs> Free labor. I thought I was your guru. What an astonishingly inaccurate assessment. Oh, look at Louie Him. A, a guru. Him. Sure, he's a great dancer with chisel dabs and a butt that refuses to quit. But I'm not sure he's the right fit for a startup business. Does he have any usable experience? No offense, of course. <laughs> Observe the butt. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. Mm. Yeah, this change in your mind. Woo! Yeah! Oh! I like this guy. I know it is. Character. It isn't. Who died it and made you queen of HR? Okay, maybe the following HR little. professionals had their contracts fulfilled, by which I mean lives terminated in the past hour. Sophia Poppy, Eleonora Copsa, Harriet Lilly, Jade Dukesha. That's not what she meant. Fergus sought me out for his college's work-study intensive program. Free labor. He's majoring in he libidinous business he management and minoring in hot throbbing. Fran! You do know you're not trapped, right? You can leave any time. Give one thrust for yes, two for no. Tattoos? Free! And you want to work for your college course unpaid? Labor! That's it! I give up. Welcome aboard. Yes. Look at him go. I hope you enjoy your time. time at Global CompuCore. Whoopee! Fergus, whip us up some Froyo daiquiris. Extra space room. Free labor. Free labor. <gasps> I never get tired of that tush. Oh, yeah. Shake it. <laughs> They're all just dancing. Seems like I'm the only one who's actually made an effort. Do either of you have any idea what I went through to bring you the... The... The nothing at all? Weren't you supposed to get, like, supplies? A corpse. Oh, wow, are we pivoting to the corpse business? Either way, I don't see a corpse, which means you screwed up just as badly as us. Worse, we actually came back with something. I tried and suffered mightily, all sure, in the name of science. All you do is serve your own red hot loins. Yeah, I did, and I'd do it again, a million times. A million Shit. times. Free labor. Mama needs more sugar. Doesn't matter now anyway. I was weak. Hey, you couldn't bring yourself to kill somebody? That's nothing to be ashamed of. No, I definitely killed somebody. I just have no upper body strength, or lower body, or middle body. Oh. She has no strength. The point is, none of us accomplished at all. anything. No body is that right? Anywhere. Not entirely. Anu at least managed to evade the TDO patrols currently searching for her. Right before she and sure. Octavia ran past several dozen security cameras on their way here. Wait, what now? TDR was 
there? The person running the morgue tried to collect on my bounty. Baby girl's first bounty. Aww. Guys, focus! <laughs> Free if the security labor. hounds got us, we were followed. Yes, almost certainly. Maybe you were followed. But I wasn't. We were going to the same place. There's no way. Hello, Ding Tong. Oh, it's Brock. He's back. <laughs> Dr. Anuta Hardar, prepare to die. Wait just a minute. Dr. Anuta Hardar, your bounty is misspelled. I won't murder you. Why don't you let me get you a Frogurt? We'll all cool down and let calmer heads prevail. What do you say? I am a gun. Violence is expected! Yes, but if you pull that trigger, a couple of things are going to happen. One. They? Oh my god! No! Congratulations! You killed my commander and I killed your doctor. We are now even. Steven. Oh, I'll show you even. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's go. Got him. Take that. Let's use the healing gun, Octavio. Here we go. What do we got? What are you doing? He's gonna hack them. Two, four, six. Oh, no. Oh, Nailed it. First try. I'm so good. Into back door. Uh, is this just like mashing A? Yep. Oh, I got a first try. I thought it was just like a. No, it's this one that's the closest. It's not really hard this hacking game, I'll be honest. This is pretty easy. Science for the win! Joke's on you! I didn't like those guys anyway! I had a mission, and I completed it! Meanwhile, your friend is still dead! Take that, yeah, bro. That's my girl. We let you down. You didn't even get to try your device on a dead. What if Anu is the dead body? Correct. Anu's body is dead. Yeah. It can be hard to accept such tragedies. Because I mean, there's still another episode to go. Come I need to be the like Please. think about it through logic, but there's, it's definitely going to work. How are you feeling, sis? You were totally dead there for a minute—a a really scary minute. I, uh, yeah. Are, are you okay? I think so. If you need mouth to mouth, just say the word. Stop giving whoa, whoa, mouth -to -mouth you were totally friend. dead there oh less God. than a minute ago. Maybe you should take it easy. No, no, I'm fine. I. 
Not fine at all. It's weird. I... Uh... Oh. What? Okay. So my controller is literally plugged in. Game. Anu? I feel weird. Your eyes are... Glowing. I feel... Wronged. Whatever. Is this normality? Nothing about this is normal. Anu? Say something. Are you okay? In peril. Well, I sure as hell can fix that. Give me that piece of shit. For whatever reason, whenever Anu gets a hit of this shard's healing juice, she goes all funny. I don't know why, but I also don't care. It's been nothing but trouble since we got it. Gah! No! You seem to have changed the shard's energy signature, Francine. You need me. I need you as much as you need me. We, we are connected. Anu? That you, girl? Must be made whole. That's a big no. Hold up. I know what to do. Am I gonna slap her? Snap. Out. Of. It. Do I? Snap! Out! Of! It! Okay, I'm out of ideas. What do we do? I'm new to slap alien her. possession, to too. Her. What would Anu do? Probably befriended. Ah, worth a shot, I guess. And if not, I have something else we can try. <laughs> uh. Hey. Hi. Uh, oh. uh, Octavio here. Um... I don't know what you're doing to my sister, but you need to let her go. Uh, now? Don't make me please? fight you. Don't make me fight you, alien thing, because I w will lose. You're half for the promise. We are made whole. I, I promise! So I gotta make this crystal or something whole. <laughs> First you were dead and then you were super possessed. This has been a real roller coaster. I didn't even get a chance to give you mouth to mouth. Unless, of course, you want some now. I mean, would it help? I am fine, uh, really. Brand I'm sorry I blew all our money on our blown out Froyo shop. I'm sorry my intern is so sexy. And I'm sorry I got trapped by a crazy candle-making morgue attendant and let you straight to our door. I'm sorry I cannot identify with any of these extreme emotions. Free, Free labor. labor. Free labor. Free labor. Free labor indeed. <sighs> oh, Lord. Listen, I'm great at running a dessert-based business that I have inherited, but... Let me get real with you both for a minute. Starting a technology business? It's hard. So, so hard! hard. Yeah. And we're bad at this. Like, really bad. Really bad! bad. We've made so many rookie mistakes! That's true. So many! Not having a lock on the front door. Bit of a security issue. That's true. I'm not sure that even qualifies as a front door. Okay, maybe Fran's right. Yeah. Fran's definitely right. You know what they say, though? The first step to being bad at business is admitting you're good at business. That doesn't make any sense. It, it does sense, when you sense. think about it. No, it still doesn't make any sense. Look, we're all beginners at this, right? Maybe we need to get some help from a veteran. Someone like seasoned, who? successful, and already on our side. Strong Fork! The angel investor! Oh, that's a great idea. Get her on your phony decks. Already am, and it's a Neko Dex Pahone. And don't tell me what to do. Whatever, give me the phone thingy. Howdy, howdy! You got Fran here. You can just talk normally. Fran or Franz Frogert, as I live and breathe. Heard one of them chatty TD or guns broke into your homestead and put a hole straight through Arnold's bread box. How did you feel here, Are we that? revealing our device brought me back from the dead? 
She did invest in us. We should respect our shareholders. If word gets out, it goes our way. It's called controlling the mayor. Narrative. What you heard on the news is true. Anu yep. was shot in the head at close range by TDR. She died from a lack of complete head. I got better. My head is complete. You mind running that by me again, partner? You invested in us because you saw the Hippocratic Matic heal. We have since discovered, quite recently and through first-hand experimentation, that it does, in fact, revive the dead. Well, bun my biscuits, that's yeah. all kinds of interesting. But it means the target on y'all's head just got even bigger. Oh, boy. That's why we're calling you on the Echo Doodle Doo. Echo Dex. We were wondering if you could help get our business on its feet. Maybe protect us from Tidor and other bounty hunters while we're at it. <laughs> We've got a man with free labor, if that helps. <laughs> oh, my God. Honey, honey. Bro. Tell you what, housing your enterprise is a big expense, but I didn't just invest in that Healy beam of yours. I invested in y'all. And if there's one thing I do, it's protect my investments. <laughs> Did you hear that? We're investments. That's great to hear. I think I speak for all of us when Wait, I say we very much want to stay alive. Person? And we're grateful for your help from one business tycoon to another. I'll put y'all up in my private hacienda. It's safe there. You can continue your research, hang in the hot tub, enjoy a shiatsu massage from Abdul. Research? Hot tub. Abdul. <laughs> I'm sending a car now. See y'all in a jiffy. High five time. High five time. <laughs> All three of them trying to high-five each other at once. It was so and awkward. Speaking of investments, we need you to stay here and do whatever you can to clean this place up. Free labor. They do that sometimes. You'll get used to it. But he's so sexy, why can't we bring him with us? What is up, guys? If you want to watch the full episode of this, Check out my Patreon in the description where you can watch the whole episode of this. But until then, you'll just have to wait until next week when the next part comes out. But until then, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye guys.